Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. I just wanted to take the moment. Um, I wanted to, last weekend we were at the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo. They had us teach the solar class and there were a couple things came up and I wanted to go over that in this video and I think it'll be uh, beneficial to a lot of people. And it's basically based on our interesting times, based on the world that we live in, I want to simplify the easiest way to pick a uh, quality solar generator um, or a portable power station and it comes down to just three simple things and I this is my cheat sheet and the reason being is I, I didn't um, memorize all the voltages watts and amperages of all the different solar generators I'm going to talk to you about but I do want to go over that with you so basically you're looking at versatility compatibility and reliability that's what I want to talk about and I'm going to focus on the EcoFlow Delta models even their new River 2 Pro model. Uh, I'm going to talk about Pecron, I'm going to talk about Blue Eddy, uh, Jackery, Goal Zero as well. And then I want to talk about our solar blankets and ways to look at um, how to pick good quality solar panels, solar blankets as well too. And to be blunt, it all comes down to voltage. There's a couple other little things, but voltage is the main thing. So here, let's just start off. So I'm going to talk about Pecron. Pecron came out not that long ago. All of the YouTube influencers were pumping it because they're making their commissions on it. Um, we personally decided not to put it on our website. Um, I decide what goes on our website, what we sell, being I own the company. Uh, I wouldn't use Pecron myself, and I'm going to go over this here as, as to why. Life cycles. First, it has great life cycles, 3,500, so you, you can't question that. It has two solar charging ports, and this is where the limitation is because at the end of the day, with the world we live in, um, there is more of a chance we might actually have to rely on the sun to power these devices so that we can use them to run our fridges, to run our furnaces, to run other items. So they have two solar charging ports, and I'm going to talk about two models, the 1500 and the 2000 as an example, because they're quite popular. So both of them are the same. The first charging port is 12 to 25 volts, 100 watts, 7 amps. So it's actually not that bad, but it's not great. It's limited in the wattage you can do. So you're limited to lower quality solar that can run off of that. The next port, and this is kind of the deal breaker for me, 32 to 90 volts, or sorry, 32 to 95 volts, 700 watts and 15 amps. So what that translates to, you need two solar panels or two solar blankets connected in series, to double the voltage to power this. Unless, if you look on the driver's side, on the hood, that is a PowerFilm 220 watt solar blanket uh, that can produce, it's 41 volts VOC. That would run it, but most people don't have close to $4,000 to buy that. That's, that's the problem. So now let's talk about the older Blue Eddy AC200 and the AC200P. The 200 is not available anymore, but I know they're trying to get rid of all of their P's, so they have a lot of sales on these. And so I do not recommend, if you're looking at that specific model, really look at, if you really want Blue Eddy, look at the AC200 Max. Way better product, and I'm going to let you know why. All of them have 3,500 life cycles, so that's good. The P and the older 200, the voltage is your limitation. So you're 35 to 145 volts, 700 watts in. So what that translates to is, again, same as that secondary charging port for the Pecron, you actually have to connect two solar panels or two solar blankets in series, doubling the voltage, so that you can actually use the product. Otherwise, it's useless to charge from solar. And they really never advertised that and shot themselves in the foot. By doing that, that's why they came out with the AC200 Max, which is, again, if you're a Blue Eddy diehard, the AC200 Max is a much better product to go with. Um, we were offering Blue Eddy. We don't anymore just because of the fact, to be blunt, their, uh, their customer service is horrible with us, which translates to it being horrible with our customers, and we put our name behind everything we do sell. So it's not something I can stand behind. Uh, their AC200 Max, so good specs. 10 volt to 145 volts, uh, 15 amp, and I believe it's 900 watts. I didn't write that down. So what that translates to, 10 volt to 145 volts. Now you have the ability from one charging port to use not good quality solar, if that's all you have, or really good quality solar like what we offer, or the power felt. You have that ability. In our interesting world right now, if for some reason your solar stops working, this gives you more versatility, more reliability, and more compatibility, as I'd mentioned at the beginning. So you can use other solar to let's say you're out doing this type of camping and your solar your your blue blue eddy ac 200 max um the solar panel you have with it stops working now you can use your neighbor's solar 
you're not going to be limited to what you can charge from that. So now let's talk about the EcoFlows as an example. So what I have there is the Delta 2. The Delta 2 is 11 to 50 volts, 200 or yeah, uh, 500 watts in 15 amps. That's amazing charging. That's all from one port. So now same thing, you can use um, lower quality solar or good quality solar with that. That doesn't limit to you to what you can do. The Delta 2 Max has the exact same charging port times two. So same, so same port times two, because they have two MPPT solar charge controllers. So 11 volt to 60 volt, 500 watts in, 15 amps. So again, you're not limited and you gives you a, a larger ability, um, uh, more options for charging from solar. The Delta Pro, which is their, one of their biggest, well, it is their biggest one, 11 volts to 150 volts, 15 amps, uh, 1600 watts in. So again, you're not limited to the type of solar you can use. Uh, the River 2 Pro, which is our newest one, the EcoFlow, 11 to 50 volts, which is phenomenal for such a small power station. 220 watts in, 13 amps. So again, you're not limited. The reason I mentioned all of these, uh, we have, a, um, on a weekly basis, we have several customers that will contact us and say, you know what, hey, um, I bought this because it was on sale, then I have this model, this brand, and they, have, they mix and match. If you've done that, we'll definitely help you the best we can. If you're just starting to look, please do not mix and match solar brands. It's going to bite you in the butt later on when you want to charge from solar. You're going to have to have multiple different types of solar to charge from it. The reason I just went over all of these EcoFlow ones, the Delta 2, Delta 2 Max, Delta Pro, and the River 2 Pro is you can use one solar blanket or one solar panel to do all of them. You're Because they have excellent charging capabilities. Now let's look at Goal Zero. Goal Zero was first to market. Uh, so they, they have a name, they haven't, because of that, they haven't put a lot of time and effort into their, their R&D. So they, I believe they're, they're much farther behind compared to the EcoFlows and the Blue Eddies, uh, the Anchor as well too. Anchor is a phenomenal product. Um, goal zero. So we have the 1000, the 1500 and the 3000. They all have the exact same charging specifications. So they are 14 to 50 volts, 10 amps at 150 watts and that's a little eight millimeter round barrel plug, or they have an Anderson power pole plug, which is 14 to 50 volts, 600 watts, 50 amps. Reason I don't like that is to get that full 600 watts, you with good quality solar cannot connect in series. You're gonna have to connect in parallel. To me, series is always better. Where we were last weekend when we taught the solar class, uh, 53 and a half degrees north latitude, September long weekend. That means for us as Canadians, the sun's a little lower on the horizon than let's say if I was in Vegas or Arizona or what have you. So solar this time of year for us is not as good for charging as it is for the people down there. So I, to me, I wouldn't want that because of parallel, because you're doubling the amperage. You want to double the voltage, which means it works way better in low light conditions, which I'm going to go over with our solar blankets here in a couple moments. So again, back to the EcoFlows. That's why I really, really recommend the EcoFlows. Or Anchor. Anchor has some excellent charging capabilities as well, too. The Anchor uh, Powerhouse 767. Now, Jackery's. Everybody knows Jackery because they are phenomenal at marking. And every YouTube influencer is making a good amount of money doing this, marketing for them. We chose not to have these on our website because, again, I don't like their, their charging capabilities, plus their low life cycles as well too. Same with Goal Zero. Goal Zero only has 500 life cycles. To me, that's a deal breaker just there in itself. Um, so Jackery, for example, the 1000 Pro, I'll talk about then the 1500, 2000, and 3000. 1000 Pro has its own uh, charging. It's a little different than the others. It's 11 to 17 volts, eight amps, 100 watts. So that basically means poor quality solar. That's all you can use for that charging port. Then the next one is 12 to 60 volts, 11 amps, double to 22 amps, and 800 watts. So again, same as the Goal Zero, you got to connect in parallel, which I wouldn't want to do. I want to connect in series, not in parallel. Uh, think of this summer. Everybody, I believe pretty much everybody out there experienced smoke of some sort from all the forest fires that were going on everywhere. Um, just that alone, you can see the decline in your solar because of the haze in the sky. If you're connected in series, you're actually going to have better solar charging capabilities than connecting in parallel. Same goes for rain and snow and what have you. So the Jackery 1500, 2000 and 3000, they're all the same in their solar charging capabilities. Same poor quality port, 11 to 17 volts, 8 amps, 100 watts. Means you're, you can only use poor quality solar for that and you're limited to 100 watts. And same thing, 
uh, this one's a little bit higher, 12 to 60 volts, 12 amps, double to 24 amp, which isn't that much, at 1400 watts. Um, again, you compare that to the EcoFlow Delta products, like look at the Delta Pro, that's 11 to 150 volts, 15 amps, 1600 watts, way better voltage. Voltage is what you want to focus on. So when you're when you're buying these and you see that sale on Amazon or what have you, and here's a brand new model and it looks like a great deal, or some YouTube influencer said, here, this is it, it's I'll bet my life on it. Well, no, they're just getting a paycheck. Um, look at the voltage. If you want to bet your life on it, you want it to rely. You want to rely on it. And you want it to be compatible with other types of solar. If the physical solar that you have for some reason breaks down, you don't want to be limited to only one or two other options. You want to have lots of options available. Um, yeah, so it's, in my eyes, if you're looking at buying, because a lot of people are buying more than one solar generator right now or a portable power station, I highly recommend the EcoFlow products. The EcoFlow Delta II, the Delta II Max. You can mix and match and use multiple different types of solar with that. The River 2 Pro, phenomenal as well too. And the Delta Pro. If you're a diehard Blue Eddy person, the AC200 Max is a really good product. I just can, their customer service is just, we don't sell their product anymore because their customer service is horrible with us and we do a large volume of sales. Um, and if it's horrible with us, it's horrible with our customers. So now what I want to do is I want to talk about voltages and I'm going to use I've got a 220 watt solar blanket from Powerfilm. Uh, I've got our solar blanket, our 220 watt. I'm going to compare them. And you can use this information from when you're looking for solar, even if it's a, a different brand of solar. You can use the exact same information. So I'm just going to lay these on the ground. I want to show you the footprint and talk about that. So first one is this right here. This is the Powerfilm. This is what I used when I was in the military. It is a really good product. It does work well. It works very well in low light conditions. This has, and again, I'm talking about voltage, because they use amorphous cells, um, you need a larger footprint for these to produce the same power as a smaller panel. So you can see how big this is. It's quite a large footprint, and you can see the wind grabbing it too, which isn't good. So this is 41 volts VOC. So that's really, really good. So this would work with some of the, the solar generators we talked about. So now let me grab our 220 watt solar blanket. And by the way, when we did the class last weekend for the Alberta uh, Outdoor Adventure Expo, I was a little frustrated because it was raining and that's not really when you want to do a class. However, we laid the power film out, 220 watt and ours, and we showed everybody, it was about 10.30 a.m. Keep in mind, we're also at, here, I'll just put it here, we're at, 53 and a half degrees north latitudes for far north with rain coming down both of these produce 23 watts of power the people that were in the class came back afterwards I had a fellow that bought a 300 watt panel and I think he said he had 460 watts uh, hard panels on his trailer they only produce 20 watts of solar I'll just switch over here because of the wind they only produce 20 watts of solar and we were producing 23 from a 22 or 220 watt solar blanket um, yeah, let me just lay out my, our 300 watt solar blanket as well too, just to show you perspective on size, on what the military uses, and what we offer here, just to give you a, a bit of perspective. Oh, let's lay this out here. This, so this is our 300 watt, again, our 220 watt. right here this is our 300 watt and the one in the back is a power film 220 watt solar blanket so it gives you perspective on size our 220 watt is about a quarter of the footprint so we talked about voltage the other thing you want to look at and this is very important so voltage is important higher is better for quality but then you want to look at when they advertise the solar cells okay so most of what's on the market is monocrystalline it's uh, where the best profit margin is then you'll hear terms like sun power that's what we use this is sun power gen 3 solar cells with a true 24 and percent efficiency rating so when you see advertising you can look on the ecoflow site you can look on bloody jackery pretty much all of the names out there 
When they advertise, they'll tell you you're going to get between, and I'm just going to use random numbers, 20 to 22 percent. Well, we manufacture ours. We know the exact percentage. Why aren't they advertising the exact percentage? Or they'll use that up to symbol. So basically what that means is, think of how auto manufacturers advertise miles per gallon. When they advertise that, do you ever see it? When you get that Ford F-150 or whatever it is that you're driving, will you actually ever see that specific, um, that's, uh, that, the, that miles per gallon? No, you don't. Like in the lab, they see it, somehow they get it, but unless you're driving downhill, there's a full moon, Garth Brooks and Enya are serenading you in the back, you're, you're not going to get that. So this is why we advertise exactly what you get. Um, unfortunately, there's no regulations in the solar market, so the other companies do get away with that. So it's a little bit of smoke and mirrors. Again, reliable, you're looking at, with our solar blankets, if the world gets more interesting, I can use this in, in a, if there's a forest fire and there's smoke. I can use it if it's raining. I can use it if it's snowing. The poor quality, low voltage with low efficiency ratings or not true efficiency rating panels or solar blankets will not work in those same circumstances. So to me, that's not reliable. Um, and I, I wouldn't bet my life on it. But what I'm trying to do is give you some information that you can use to buy other solar. You're more, or if you're looking at our solar blankets, now you can potentially see the difference. Uh, the 220 watt solar blanket in the back, the power film, ours are actually modeled after that. When I got out of the military, I had a level three security clearance. So I actually contracted to a satellite communication company here. We sold to three letter entities in the US. We sold to militaries worldwide, satellite packages with solar. And I still remember years ago seeing we were in the boardroom and some of the pictures was, were coming up of some of the military that we were dealing with. Um, there was a US Marine on a donkey with an Inmarsat satellite phone and then a solar blanket draped over it. And it, I always remembered that. And that's kind of how this all came about, guys. Um, but I hope that gives you a good bit of information on what to look for. I, I, I hope I wasn't too technical and your eyes didn't glaze over. I was trying to keep it as simple as possible. But to make it easy, what you want to look at is voltage. You want to look at, and that's going to be for your, um, your solar generators. So that's an important fact. And then you also want to look at, for the solar panels, solar blankets, not only voltage, but you also want to look at your, um, what do you call it, your efficiency ratings, true efficiency ratings as well. Okay, guys? Either way, we do have stock available. We're ready to ship. Any questions, please ask me. Uh, shoot me an email. Give me a call. I'd be happy to answer your questions for you. We're normally shipping within three business days. Um, and other than that, yeah, stay safe, guys. We're, we're in an interesting world, and it looks like this fall it's about to get more interesting with everything going on. So I just want to show you products that we use ourselves, why I recommend them, and why I would bet my life if I had to rely on these. I would, be, I would sleep well at night knowing that I had these. Other products that are not as interchangeable and you can't mix and match, I would not be comfortable betting my life on. Okay, um, have a great day, guys. Any questions, like I said, let me know. Please like and subscribe. I don't read from a script, as you've probably realized. I just want to give you the meat and potatoes uh, of all of this uh, and, and just good, valuable information based on feedback from customers, um, how I use the product and, you know, just trying to future proof ourselves for what's, what's possibly coming as well, being in our, our interesting world. Okay. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day. I'm barbecuing a steak and I'm going to have a good night's sleep here and enjoy the stars. We'll talk to you soon guys. Okay. Bye.